Welcome back to uh, EV boat conversion. Now that we're uh, done with the rebuilding of the boat, I want to get into some of the early thoughts on uh, my backyard engineering. Um, a large part of this process, uh, in my mind, is about weight. Um, I didn't want to go too much higher than the, the weight of the boat originally, um, and I wasn't exactly sure how that was going to work out. So this will just give you a um, little information about um, how I actually weighed the boat. Um, I think that'll be of interest to some people. And then uh, we'll finish up with um, the preliminary calculations on, on where we're at. It's uh, October 20th, 2021. Um, we have pretty much completed um, rebuilding the stringers and bulkheads and deck. And um, I really wanted to get a weight on this boat um, before we start adding stuff back into it. Um, that was always the plan. And what I did was early on in the project, I mounted a triple 2x10 in the overhead of my garage, supported it off of one wall with a 2x8 down to the ground. And then we've got this A stand here out of two by sixes, maybe triple two by sixes in compression. Um, we have a Harbor Freight one and a half ton hoist. That cross member there is a double two by eight with plywood. The other two cross members are also double two by eights with plywood. So what I did to get the straps underneath, um, I jacked up the trailer axle with a uh, floor jack and then put these little stands underneath. Um, these are not good jack stands, they're, they're designed for stabilizing trailers, um, but for what I'm doing they seem to be working okay. Um, so I put those under and then lowered the uh, floor jack down onto those. Um, a little scary, uh, but it worked. Um, so my next step is I'm going to put some shims on top of the bunks, except where the straps are, and uh, lower it back down onto the uh, bunks, just because I'd feel safer. And then I'm also going to leave the uh, leave the jack stands in place success. She has broken the bonds of earth. I've got uh, the boat is now hanging on my sort of jury rigged hoisting arrangement here. No comments on that please. I know it's jury rigged. Um, and I did get the scale in there. See if you can make that out. I don't know if you can focus on that or not but 1,417 pounds, 428 pounds, it bounces around a little bit, I think because I'm leaning on it. But that was really good to see, because um, the design weight of the boat with the gas engine is about 2,300. So, um, you know, that gives me 900 um, for batteries and such. Um, I also have the interior out of the boat, which is a big chunk. So it's a good day. So like I said, I don't necessarily recommend um, everybody use that method for weighing the boat, but um, it worked um, and uh, you just need to be careful. So I'm not going to go through this list, um, but this is where I'm at currently. Uh, these are the items that I have um, included in my rough estimate. Um, not a complete list, um, but it's a, uh, a list of all the major items um, that, that will go into at least getting this thing um, in the water for a, a proof of concept, um, hopefully in the spring of 23. Um, the original weight of the boat from the NADA guides is um, 2,350 pounds. Um, from what I understand, uh, manufacturers frequently um, underestimate those. Um, don't know exactly why, but that's my understanding. 
Um, this little package I've got here, I'm already at 2560. So we're over by a couple of hundred. Um, that doesn't include the steering gear, uh, motor room enclosure, interior bulkheads, bow seating. So there's several hundred more there for sure. Um, I'm eliminating two rear seats um, because there's no room for them. Uh, the batteries in the motor are going to take up the whole back of the boat. So um, I think we're going to be going from a Coast Guard label seven people to a unofficial five person limit. Um, so we'll pick up a little bit there. So ultimately, um, I'm pretty happy with with where we're at on weight. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we'll be doing more videos, probably won't be for a little while, but uh, there'll be more to come later. Thanks.